Yes, your grouchiness is, sir. This week we've got a green experiment that's based on those New Age pioneer friends over in Biosphere 2. And it uses a power source that's available in just about any home in the USA, and that is the gerbil. Or a smallish hamster, either one. Right, exactly. And uh, what this is is a totally self-contained, self-perpetuating biosphere environment for the gerbil of the not-so-distant future. I like to call the gerbil sphere, too. Okay, you want to take it part way there, Tom? Sure thing, Joel. Now, the central element in our holistic environment is the common running wheel. As our furry pioneering friend turns the wheel, the log here is propelled through the wood lathe, resulting in, of course, the wood chips down below that you see, right. which encourages the gerbil or hamster to... Uh, Poop. Right, and, and that fertilizes the... The uh, field of alfalfa, right. which we see here, the sprouts growing at just the proper rate to keep the gerbil nourished, but not obese. Dr. Crow? Uh, yes. Uh, now, every three years, we will rotate in some soybeans. Uh, we didn't do that originally and accidentally destroyed all the topsoil. Oops. <laughs> and, uh, of course, another minor problem with our perfect system is that the CO2 released by the alfalfa can at times combine with certain undesignated elements causing an <laughs> uncontrolled thunderstorm in the upper reaches of the perfect but, system. But we have installed the air cleaner up here uh, that we believe will rectify the CO2 condition, uh, which we must remind you is only sporadic and which we do not believe interferes in any significant way with the wholeness or perfection of our system no, here. No. You know what? There's so much uh, torque involved with this uh, this little running wheel, I, uh -oh. I I have a feeling we're going to need a gerbil that's at least 20 pounds. Out of uh, 23. Our, yeah, our people are working on it. Uh, yeah. We have a I think it may be a motor. <laughs> Seems like kind of a gym. 